1974, I heard the call of God. And it seemed as though God took the Bible and slung it before me and said, preach it or else. So I got up and I confessed that the Lord had called me to preach. Like Reverend Frankie McDonald used to say, God saved me, but the Church of God brought me up. I love the Church of God. And I couldn't understand how in the world could we have three churches and there was no church um, for my people. And so the burden got on me. And one day I was in my laundry room praying, thanking on Tifton. But the Lord spoke to me and said, I have many souls held up waiting on you. So I talked to my pastor, and I said, if you get a good pastor there, I'll go and I'll win the souls because I love witnessing. I love souls. And the Lord said to me, you that good pastor you looking for. That's the way this ministry got started. So we have seen miracles. We have seen many souls that have accepted the Lord. I'm here on 2915 Southern Avenue, but God called me to Tifton, you know. And so I'm not one of those that say, I'm just gonna talk to my members and minister. I minister to all people in this city. My family, my sibling, it was 15 of us. And I'm that middle person, seven older, seven younger. So in, with my siblings, the Lord saved me first and filled me with the Holy Spirit. And they saw the change in my life. So they started coming. And my father was 71 years old. I won my father to the Lord. And so my family loves the Church of God. I love the Church of God. And until Jesus come, I am Church of God. All people need Jesus. And if they don't have Jesus, they are lost. We together have a work to do and we have a short time to do it. And so we need to wake up and realize who we are. We are the church of God and we are one.